Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can get an overview of almost all SAP Fiori apps. And to do this, here I am on the SAP Fiori apps reference library, and that is the site I can highly recommend to get some detailed information about SAP Fiori apps. Uh, I will put the URL in the video description so that you can get also some detailed information and can visit this web page on your own. Once you have visited this web page, you will get this landing page where you get some detailed information um, here on the uh, improved search. Then you will be redirected on the help portal to see basically what are the changes on the SAP Fiori apps reference library. And basically on the left hand side there you uh, have some categories. So for example, you can display all apps, all apps for SAP S4 HANA, SAP S4 HANA Cloud, uh, just SAP S4 HANA, Business Suite, the Lighthouse apps and the apps on SAP BTP. And especially um, if you just would like to get some detailed information about your apps uh, and you are not sure um, what kind of category you should select, you can also select all apps to search on all apps. So all apps uh, will now be listed based once again on the categories. So you have some uh, preloading here. You can see this. You can look around and see also yeah what is new there. And... For example, if you click on one app on the left hand side, then here in the app details page, you will get some details information about this app. Here you basically will see um, the title, you will see some detailed information about this app, you will see for what kind of version of SAP S4 HANA, so SAP S4 HANA or SAP S4 HANA Cloud, uh, what kind of version uh, you will would like to search for, and then you will see um, basically here, here some detailed information what is the app ID for example some product features you can read them through and what is I think kind of like useful you will get some in most cases not every time some screenshots of the app so you will get some detailed information how does the app look like um, yeah so what is the typical look and feel about this app if we go through the implementation information, then you will see some important SAP nodes. You can click to be redirected to SAP uh, support uh, portal to um, see and read through the SAP nodes that are impo important. Then here you will get some detailed information. How does the installation of the SAP Fiori app work? Some uh, configuration nodes that is important important so that the app will work also what is important what is are the business roles the groups the category catalogs for example for authorization that is really important the extensibility and some support information and if we go through related apps, then you will see also uh, other apps in the uh, production planner. So um, based on the subcategory of this app and here all the related apps of yeah, basically the selected app. And for example, if you would like to yeah, search for an app, for example, then you can uh, within the search input field, you can uh, enter the the title so for example display document would you like to hit the enter key and then you will see for example down here display document display journal entries okay here within the title you will see also the related transaction code but if we select there, how can you get the related transaction code of an SAP Fiori app? So here in the uh, product features, if we scroll down, you will see it not. You have to click on the implementation information. And then you have here one under SAP Fiori Launchpad, one um, area called technical configuration within here the transaction code and here is the transaction code listed as you might know not for every sap fiori app there one transaction code exists but for a lot 
And what can you also do to uh, display the transaction codes? Um, for example, you can um, select one app or multiple apps as you want to. And then you go on to a list. View. Currently, we are in the de detail view. You go to list view. And then you have within here changed the view to current selection. So then you will see also your selection within here and then within the uh, display settings, then you have to also display down here the transaction, click on OK. Then you will see also within here the transaction. If we switch back to, for example, all apps, and then you will see in the column transaction now also the corresponding transaction that um, is being used within the SAP GUI. And here you can see that not for every SAP Fiori app a transaction code exists, but for a lot of them. And that is how you can get easily also the transaction code of your SAP Fiori app or vice versa. And here you can also see where a screenshot exists and where not. So I highly recommend to use the SAP Fiori reference app library that is i think kind of like useful and helpful for a lot of use cases and if you have any questions left please put them in the comment sections please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and see you in the next video